everyone, I'm Chef Patty and welcome to our AvMed Health cooking demo. Today I'm going to be making a lentil soup, the perfect recipe when you're craving something really cozy and filling but not too fatty. I think you're going to love it. It comes together in just a few minutes, so let's get started. I'm going to add a little olive oil to my pan, maybe one to two tablespoons, not a whole lot. And then we are going to start by sauteing some onions. So I've got one medium onion that I've diced going in the pan. Just gonna give it a little stir. So now I'm gonna add the celery and carrots that I've diced. So I've got two stalks of celery, two whole carrots that I've peeled and sliced going in the pan with the onion. So typically when I am sauteing veggies, I saute the bigger veggies first, and then if I have garlic, I do that at the end because garlic is so small, it only takes like 20 to 30 seconds, and there is nothing worse than burnt garlic. So I'm just going to kind of like sweat out your veggies. You don't have to fully cook them because they're gonna finish cooking when you add the lentils and the broth and the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm gonna add my garlic. I've got four cloves of garlic that I have finely diced. Cook this a few more seconds. And if you wanted to add butternut squash, sweet potatoes, like another veggie, you would do it now in this step. Okay, tomato paste. Adding a little tomato paste. And I like adding the tomato paste before I add my broth, before I add the liquid, because it sort of helps to deglaze the pan a little bit, and it creates more flavor to the veggies that are in here now. All right guys, now we can continue with the rest. So I've got, you wanna use four to six cups of liquid. I have, um, I'm gonna start, I usually do four cups. I don't like mine too, too brothy, so that's up to you. If you want it really, really brothy, then go with five to six cups. If you just want it a little thicker, then four cups is fine. I have veggie broth here. And you can do veggie broth, chicken broth, or a combination of broth and water, whatever you have. But definitely try to add, even if you can't do the full four cups of broth, but try to add at least halfway, two cups of broth or stock to add extra flavor. Now I've got one can of diced tomatoes. Easy guys, I am telling you, and now the star of the show, I've got some orange lentils, are they pretty? So the orange lentils tend to be a little sweeter, but obviously you can use the green lentils, any kind of lentils that you have at home. Give this a stir. Now we're adding our spices. So this is gonna add a lot of flavor. I've got cumin, dried oregano, dried thyme, dried basil, salt, a little salt, and a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes just because I wanna give it a kick. Obviously, if you don't like anything spicy, leave that out. Sprinkle this here. This is it. I am gonna transfer it to the back burner. I'm gonna keep on cooking it for 15 minutes, guys. That's it, 15 minutes. Move this out of the way. I am gonna show you the one that I just finished making. There's still smoke in there. So, take a look. Can you see this? It's so good. I think you guys are really gonna love this recipe. All right, so we've got, just by cooking it 15 minutes, the lentils cook down, they're really, really soft. 
but the veggies didn't lose their shape. So I kind of love that. You can see that the carrots, we still have like whole pieces of carrots. Because sometimes I hate it when you overcook your, your beans and then your veggies get really mushy. So by cooking at 15 minutes, the lentils are nice and cooked. They're not hard, they're soft, but then you still have whole pieces. I'm gonna add some kale. You can add kale, you can add spinach, whatever you prefer. Just adding some kale. Definitely like this is a powerhouse, our popular greens. So now we're just adding by adding either spinach or kale, you're adding extra nutrients to your soup. Just stirring it all up. Yummy. And then the only other thing I want to do, and this is also going to just brighten it up and add extra flavor, is I'm going to add a half of a fresh lemon. Squeeze that in there. And here we have it, guys. Let me plate it and give you a close-up. You just saw how easy it is to make a lentil soup. And it really is so delicious. So full of everything that's good for you. Here we have it, guys. Enjoy.